and I'll get on YouTube. Um, I thought about a video about this water dragon I've just rescued. Um, conditions were quite bad to be honest. Uh, it's got really bad, bad nose rub at the front. Um, she didn't have a spotlight at all. Her temperatures were about 20 degrees below what it should have been. And the main thing is she's kept been kept in a, a longer tank rather than high. So the first thing I'm hopefully going to do is get a boil dory with her. Uh, here's a really badly kink tail. Um, and she's lost a lot of her balance and she struggles to climb. So I'm debating whether to get a boil with her now. Uh, she didn't have any UV lighting. Um, and she was she didn't have any substrate either and she wasn't fed right she just, it was terrible um, but I got given her off um, a friend of mine who works for the RSPCA and she's looking better I didn't think she was going to make it first but I thought I'll let you guys see her she's friendly surprisingly after conditions she's been kept in but I'm just letting her settle in a little bit she doesn't eat a lot but she eats enough to um, keep her going but yeah it's not too good really I don't know if you can see that and the light is really bad touch my day gecko but it's just taking a mick um, I've also been given this corn snake to look after for a little while uh, just trying to get him he was really skinny when I got him uh, well, I say he, I think it's a male, but only time will tell really. It's about two and a half long, he ain't big. I don't know what age it is, but I've just been asked to look after him. Eventually I'll be home him to someone else, because I just have not got the space. My room is manic. I mean, I still got my stack over there. That's the Chinese water dragon. That's, this is the basilisk, obviously, up on the wall. The Dagico tank down there at the minute, which shouldn't be. Um, and then the Gorn Snake, just I have no room. Um, incubator over there for when my beardy lays, which should be any day now, really. Um, Leopard Gecko just going in the back of his eyes. This little chap hasn't got any friend here, but hopefully, improve. These two are fine still. Love these two, make me laugh. And the gamma down here, um, still unhandable, but still great to have because he's different. Um, it's a shame you can't see the day gecko, but oh well. Uh, you can't handle him at all, he'll just take your finger off, well, not literally. Um, Basilisk isn't the tamest, but you can handle him just about. Uh, he doesn't really like it, so I won't. But I'll probably do a video of me handling them soon. Um, thanks YouTube. Please rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers, bye.